Hey Google, you guys ask Hey Google, we ask Hey Dylan, what's the difference between a plate coral and a dioceris? Well, dioceris is a plate coral, so there's five types of plate corals. Show us okay. and talk to us as, as you tell us. I mean, show us as you talk to us. So there's five types of plate coral dioceris, cyclocerus, lithophylon. Helia fungia and fungia. He's just saying, he didn't look this up. He did, I didn't even go on Google. This is just all in under the nice hair here in his head. He has all this knowledge. So what sort of differentiates uh, Cyclocerus and Dioceris? This is Dioceris, which the shape isn't really as sort of um, symmetrical. Not so round. Yeah. And do we have plate coral? Yes, there's um, right here is a uh, Cyclocerus. And next next to it? Cyclocerus as well. How about this? Cyclocerus. How about this? Uh, looks more like Dioceris in a sense. But it could be Cyclocerus, but not an even shape. How about this? Uh, Cyclocerus as well. How about this? Cyclocerus. How about this? Uh, same thing, Cyclocerus. Sure question. We already looked at that yeah. one. Okay, uh, how about that little broken fragment over there, number 49? It's also a cyclocerus, but then because of when they're fragged, they don't even, they don't go back evenly, so they won't go back into a full circle, so that, that's why it looks like an odd shape. A little wonky. Yeah, okay. so that's why this one here looks wonky, because it's probably fragged and it developed into that shape. To say, how come we have no plate corals on display? We do. Check this out. So, it is a plate coral. It's a plate coral. It's just a type of plate coral. Mm -hmm. How about tongue coral? Tongue coral is a type of lithophyllum or I think litho. Anyways, we've never fragged one here in the store. So today's video, now that we have all our information on plate coral, um, is going to be about fragging. We're going to go downstairs with the bandsaw and we're going to cut one of these up because I've never tried tea. What's going on with your mushrooms? Yeah, what is up? Those look really good. Rest not look so good. Okay, when did you guys notice that people started fragging plate corals? This is sort of, how long would you say? Three years? This is a during COVID sort of thing, at least for us, that I've noticed. Plate corals, when I started in the hobby, did, there were no plate corals. How about when you started working here? There were no plate coral frags, I mean. Yeah, not so common. So we're gonna try, I think this one, I think we should, what do you think, Dylan? This one or this one? Uh, say this one. He looks like he wants to get fragged. You want to shave? I kind of want to say that shape. Yeah, this, this one, one almost looks like it's splitting. Plate coral. Easy to keep? Hard to keep? Easy. I would say easy too. Yeah, pretty easy. Just make sure you keep them on the sand so they don't attach to any rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's easy. do it. Okay, grab that guy. Let's bring him downstairs. The band saw's all nice and clean. Turn coral is actually purple ether. Purple ether. See, sometimes we don't know. We check Google too. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a shot. Where to set up? Set up. Pronto. Let's go, my little friend. This is a coral that I would never think about fragging back in the day. We're only doing it because I see other people do it. There are quite a few corals sort of on my list of no frag. Um, typically, plate coral would be one of them. Uh, hey, we're going to the basement. What's up, guys? Uh, Scolies, Acanthophilias, Open Brain, Elegance. Uh, I'm out of fingers on this hand. Uh, some sort of, some types of hammer coral, like wall. Check out our new light. Look at this. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. Okay. Yeah. First, we gonna... I like to use frag recover. So it helps to uh, release some stress and also fights from sort of, it has a bit of antibacterial properties. So around four capfuls per, per half a gallon. So check out this is just because it's really concentrated. I like the smell. Okay, let them smell. Okay guys, give it a whiff. <laughs> it smells like eucalyptus. I noticed a big difference when fragging chalice after using this product, this, and a little bit of iodine. Way more success. I think that a lot of the corals can get um, bacterial infection. I forget sometimes how stressful it is. Like for us, we're just cutting, fragging. We, don't, we do it without really thinking. But it's a pretty stressful thing to get your body cut in half, right? Mm. Like we're chopping them. And this is yeah, open to sort of bacterial infections or any, any sort of. Uh, uh, Today we're going to be using 
Fabulicious. So Fabio has named this bandsaw. He sometimes frags here part time. It's got a funky shape already, huh? Yeah. Maybe cut this way. I don't know, man. Way. This is. I'm gonna leave this up yeah. to you. I would try to do. How about like a pizza? Like eight, eight of them. Eight. Yeah. Sure, so, on the eight. Yeah. Let's okay. try eight and see what happens. Okay. Leave them in the frag recover for what? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Let them chill out. They look really good. Look at that. Beautiful little plate coral frags. Maybe it's very common for you guys and you see this at your LFS, but it's a first for us. So I thought, you know, let's pick up the camera and share it with you. And while they're sitting there, I'm going to tell you that we're about to revamp. Maybe not so exciting, but um, what I find with a lot of stores is that they kind of open and they make this initial investment and then it just falls into decrepitcy is that the word no disarray it just starts to it ages right like salt water just naturally destroys everything, starts to deteriorate everything over time. deteriorates over time and one thing i like to do here every summer is kind of update and keep things organized and clean so what i'm going to do is rip all of no the sink's probably going to stay but i'm going to rip all this out and i'm going to redo our entire fragging station because i keep visiting places like top shelf aquatics and a reef creation and all these um frag masters and i think it can just be done a lot cleaner and i'm obsessed with cabinetry so we're going to sit down and design maybe a new double sink feature in here with band saws built in with maybe somewhere to sit um, it's just time for a nice little update and I think that just kind of keeps everything looking nice and clean and operating well and something that I think some stores unfortunately you know I actually visit quite a few stores where I don't pick up the camera and I even record stuff that I don't always put out there just because not every store looks like ours huh yeah this one I'm I'm I would like to say that we keep it fairly clean in here so this is all going to undergo a little renovation if you want to see our new sort of frag workshop and I'll, I'll make some videos as we go along and do that. Oh, na nailed it. it becomes a dump over time so that's something I'm trying to avoid here in the basement I don't bring you guys down here too often because it's a little bit uh, it's not a dump it's it's fairly organized but it's not something really to show off it's where we farm our corals it's where the ghost hangs out because it's haunted we have our overstock our boxes products mixing station uh, auto top off the sump and filtration. I could do maybe a video walkthrough if you want to see the guts and sort of see how I plumbed this entire store in because I get a ton of emails asking, you know, what does it cost and how do you do it? And it's this is uh, our second rendition. This is completely different than when I first opened the store. Anyway, so we're getting properly sidetracked. Let's bring the plate corals upstairs and see how they look. That is a great question. Where are we going to put them? Where are we going to put the plate corals? Dun, 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 dun. I would say somewhere with low flow, low light, so they can chill. How about in one of our lovely little acrylic baskets? Mm, maybe for a day, we'll monitor them. Great spot. Yeah, sand bed of that tank. That we're also going to revamp very soon. I have to start sitting and planning what we're going to do. Um, I love this tank, but it's so... It's so overgrown, like softies on top of softies. We're really starting to run into some warfare with them. And you're bored of it? You get bored of tanks pretty easily. Yeah. Tia will like just come in one day and be like, I'm done with this, that's it. Everything comes out, I want only one kind of coral. It takes me years. Like, yeah. Remember how long this looked the way it looked? Uh, yeah. Until recently. Yeah, and even now, look, I'm really just trying to take my time. I pick pieces that I like, and I'll let them sit on the sand bed. I'll let it marinate before I decide and commit to, you know. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yellow one? Yeah. Where'd that come from? Your tank? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do a very nice eight-can garden. A lot more thought going into this one instead of just tossing stuff at it, and I think that's what's going to happen with that tank next. And it's just good to kind of change things up because as they start to grow there's really there's like I always say there's no off switch on the corals once they're happy so we're gonna let them chill on the sand bed and then when they look good I would say a week and a half to two weeks 
you want to see all the edges nice and healed. So I think it's going to take, I would say about two weeks. I'm just guessing based on other LPS that we frag. So right now it's all exposed skeleton. You definitely do not want to buy a piece of coral like that. You want to see it healed all the way around and then they will become available on our website. We'll, we'll give them a funky name. Dylan's Dioceris. Oh, double D. Isn't that a good name? What do you guys think we should do with this thing while we're here talking to you? I think we need some acro. We used to be acro, but I think we need some. No? I think we need acro. I think we need some. I think more importantly, we want to try a new light. So the AI blade is going to replace the Neptune Sky for the time being. Or maybe supplement. Who knows? Maybe we can run it side by side. But I think, um, I think we'll mix it up a bit and maybe try some different corals and keep things exciting. Because like I said, a lot of times... Stores make that initial investment and then build it and then they fall into what's the word I'm thinking? Decre hmm. Saray, go to is there a cinnamon synonym website? Cinnamon? Shambles, flimsy, broken down, crippled, creaky, run down, fragile, tacky, shaking, yeah. Worn out. Ram shackled. That's what the word I was thinking. Yeah. The stores fall into ram shackledness. That's not what we want here. We want sexiness, clean organized. Um, that's it. We're going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys learned something or if not, maybe just had fun coming along with us on our kind of vloggy style plate coral entertainment sort of video. We will see you guys back here. I'm just showing you acans that I added to the six gallon as I'm saying goodbye because I wanted to see if we can maintain uh, acans a a in a pico tank. This thing's looking awesome actually. Check this out. New sizes coming soon. This is the six gallon. We have a flat 9-gallon and then a 12-gallon, double the size of this. That's it, guys. I'll say goodbye to you, and we'll see you back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV.